I noticed that my most viewed video was my video on the Crocodile Paradox slash Dilemma, which shows that a lot of people have taken an interest into what it is. My video was slightly incorrect, wasn't informative, and pretty much crap since I was a little stupid back then. So I've decided to remake this video and I hope to explain the paradox in the way I feel is the easiest way possible. There is a crocodile who has stolen the child of the father. The premise is that the child will be returned to the father if, and only if, the father correctly predicts whether or not the child will be returned. He has two choices to say. The child will be returned, or the child will be kept. Picking the first option creates a logical outcome. If the crocodile's intention is to return it, then the father's prediction will be true, and the child is returned concurrently with the will of the crocodile. If the crocodile's intention is to keep the child, then the father's prediction will be false, and it is not returned, again concurrently with the will of the crocodile. Simple. The paradox arises when the father says the child will be kept. Here's why. This is the logical procedure that would occur. Since the father has predicted the child will be kept, if the crocodile does plan to keep the child, then his prediction is true, and so the child must be returned according to the premise given by the crocodile. But if the crocodile must return the child, that means it goes against his will of keeping the child. Hence the father's prediction is false, and so the child must be kept. But if the child is to be kept, then the father's prediction is true, and well, you get the idea now. An infinite loop occurs. Because the child cannot be both kept and returned, a paradox arises. And this is true regardless of the intention of the crocodile. So long as the father predicts the child will be kept, then the crocodile must violate his rules, and so the question of what the crocodile must do is paradoxical. Paradoxes like these are called self-reference paradoxes, because they refer to the rules they have been built upon. Another famous one you may have heard is, this sentence is false, but that's another story. So, next time a crocodile snatches your kid, predict that it will be returned to you. Because then, at least you've got some chance of him or her being returned to you.